Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fonts Talks Jersey. As I, Fonts the Falco, Jersey Connoisseur, here in the wonderful world of YouTube. And here we are with another video. The LB City Connect jerseys. We are going over the 2023 release City Connect jerseys. The last one before the final round of the 2024 ones will be released, which will be coming in in the coming weeks. We'll see when those are released. If you missed the 2021 and 2022 grades, I'll link them down below. And if you missed it, here's a quick little recap of what the City Connect jerseys are. When Nike became the uniform provider for the MLB, they released a new jersey called the City Connect. And it's similar to the NBA City style jerseys where it represents the city with outlandish colors, font, represents the city that the team plays in we've seen a lot of really good ones some ones that aren't so great and let's take a look at the 2023 ones that were released six teams debuted their city connect jersey in the 2023 season so we're going to take a look back and see how they look one year later i know how the grading criteria works a plus down to an f does it fit the city well does it still hold up a year later it's very simple join a lot of my video and check out my grades and see which ones you agree with and which ones you disagree with but before we get into the video let's take a look at our word from fans idea if you guys aren't aware by now you guys know i'm a huge jersey fiend when it comes to jerseys i could talk about that all day i have my own youtube channel decades of just jerseys uh, and i gotta tell you guys about fans idea right now fans idea is your own site where you can customize a jersey if you're choosing to the color to the size to the scripture to the number on the back everything they got baseball they got football they got hockey they got basketball they even got hats and hoodies if you want to create something for your team got a men's softball league you want to do make yourself some jerseys for the team got a bowling league make yourself some t-shirts for it do what you want to do got a men's basketball league at the ymca go get your team a bunch of jerseys and some shorts too you literally can do it all and look at this right now i'm wearing my slick back base because the people fans of the me this it's really nice with the mets colors here the better new york baseball team by the way but the scripture is nice i put 20 and 19 on the back because that's when the podcast started i have everything they even have the podcast logo here on the sleeve you could do whatever you want to the jersey it's just really really nice and the stuff there is really really good and a really good price like they said they had anything you could choose any color any style any font any number you could put any type of logo on it whatever you want to do and it's a really good price and you can get an even better price if you use the code fonts at the for 10 percent off your order head over to fansidea.com right now make yourself a nice jersey you know what do a soccer jersey do a polo do a hat do a varsity jacket because those are really nice and put the code fonz at the end at checkout for 10 percent off your order you guys know i'm a big jersey guy i talk about jerseys all the time and i would lie to you when it comes to jerseys this stuff here really good quality good stitching it's some legit stuff again fansidea.com use code fonts f-o-n-z for 10 percent off your order right now and now here are the grades for my 2023 mlb city connect jerseys we start off here with the atlanta braves where they had the white base jersey blue sleeves and the red accents you see here the white base the A on it here with the number on it. These uniforms were inspired by the team's 1974 home uniforms worn by Hank Aaron. And it's historic because that's the same uniform he wore when he surpassed Babe Ruth with a 715th home run. And I got to say, as a Mets fan, they're rivals with the Braves. But I hate to say it here, and I'm being unbiased here with my team fandom. I really do like this Braves one a lot. Second, it debuted when I saw the pictures of it and the videos, the hype videos for it. I absolutely love this. I like the white base, and it's a cool historic aspect to it. Uh, old throwback with the modern twist to it. It's a really good one with the blue sleeves on it. Nice and bright, and I like it. It gets an A minus grade. And again, I hate to say it, it's a really, really nice one. I'm taking away my Mets fandom here, and I hate to admit, I'm sorry, Mets fans. This is a really good City Connect jersey on the top list of one of my favorites. Now we go to the Baltimore Orioles one. This one is the black base with white accents. It's very plain, all black look here. And the jersey is inspired by Baltimore itself with the neighborhood surrounding it. And you see here with the cap, it is the italic B, which is used for the commonly with the Orioles away jersey. And for the jersey itself, you see it simply just says Baltimore across in all capital letters with the white lettering. And you see here, it's a little subtle detail, but on the collar, on the inside flaps of the jerseys, it's in different colors here, and it features colors and shapes from the neighborhoods of Baltimore. And this is the case with this jersey where I didn't like it when it first came out. I wasn't a fan of it. It seemed very plain. It kind of didn't fit the city well. But as I looked more into it, when I saw more on the field, especially during those night games, they were really, really nice jerseys. And I don't know what it is. The more and more I saw them on the field with these jerseys, I got to say, though, these just look really, really cool. I like the all black look now. It's sharp. It really, really is, especially when they wear them on night games. The Baltimore and all capitals with the white lettering here and the little subtle details of the different colors here on the inside collar. I didn't like it at first, like I said, but as I've seen them more and more, they're growing on me a lot more. And I do have a soft spot for the Orioles because they are a neighboring team with the Baltimore Ravens, my favorite NFL team. So I might have to get one of these. I do like these a lot. Now, again, some people might not like them because they seem very plain, but for some reason, it just works really well here. I know you want the actors to be outlandish and wild, but sometimes it works. We go into the Cincinnati Reds here right now. The black base with the red accents. The jersey features a diamond-shaped C on the cap and on the jersey. Now on the front here on the chest, it says Cincy, and it's the nickname for Cincinnati if you aren't aware of that. And on the collar, it features the Ohio Buckeye. Under the motto, it's a strength and unity in English. And in how you pronounce it, it's Junta Juvant. 
Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And apologies if I did not. And much like with the Baltimore Orioles one, this one grew me a lot more as well. The all black look with the red accent, especially the striping on the pants and also on the shadow drop of the Cincy logo here. It's really sharp and clean. I do like this one a lot more as the games came on as the season progressed with these uniforms, much like with the Orioles ones. I like these a lot too. Much like with the Orioles one, I gave it a B minus grade. I give the Cincinnati Red ones a B grade. This one gets a little bit above the Orioles one because of the red accent marks on it. Like I said, the Orioles one is nice too, but the B minus compared with the Reds, this is the B. It's a really, really good one as well. Three for three so far on some really good City Connect jerseys. But then we kind of see a little bit of a downgrade here with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Here it's a gold base with the black accents. The jersey and pants color are similar to the flag of Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh is very unique where all three of their teams have the same exact colors in black and gold. Next year on the front here, the abbreviation for Pittsburgh PGH, which you are aware of too. The uniform also features custom prints of the three elements in the inverted Y, an asteroid, and the check. Now, if you look closely to the subtle details of this jersey inside the PGH and on the numbers on the back, it features a pattern located on the sides of the Three Sisters Bridge. You know, with this one, it's cool, but I wanted a little bit more out of it. The PGH is cool. And I like the subtle little details on it, but I feel like it's missing a little bit something too. The black and gold is really nice. It's a good color combination. I will admit that. But it is kind of missing something on here. This gets a C minus grade. I just feel like there could have been a little bit more of an improvement on this one. Now we go to the Seattle Mariners one, the dark blue base with the yellow lettering and black pants. You see here it says Seattle all in lowercase. This represents actually the colors of the original colors the Mariners wore, which was rush blue and sundown. And the lettering of Seattle is actually really cool. It's a nod to Seattle's first Major League Baseball team, the Seattle Pilots. And I gotta say, this is a really, really cool nod to their old team here. It represents the old school of the city well with the Seattle Pilots. Now I'm not a fan of the black pants with baseball uniforms, especially when it's mismatching the color of the batting helmet cap and jersey but i do kind of like this to not to the old school feel here the seattle jersey is really nice i like the color it's bright the seattle wearing is cool good throwback style here it gets a b plus grade and lastly the texas rangers they did a lot with the uniform a bunch of different old school styles and callbacks to old teams combined into one now the jersey is a natural cream color top with the tx graphic on the right side of the player's chest now the logo and the color treatment is similar and it's influenced by the gothic lettering of the dallas eagles and the x you see with the spur is a nod to the dallas fourth ward spurs an old school baseball team now on the left with the number printing it is in speed red and it's inspired by the 1920 championship medal won by the fourth worth panthers like i said this jersey and uniform has a different combination of all the dallas texas teams all into one from 1920s up until today with the black or blue kind of color pants here. I really, it's a lot going on. I feel like a lot of historical aspect, which is really, really cool. And the cream color jersey is nice, but the pants kind of ruin it for me in this whole one, unlike with the Seattle Mariners one. This gets a D grade here. I just wanted like a little bit more out of this one, if I'm going to be honest with you. It just seems like a lot going on. It really is the worst of the bunch. It, the Rangers have some pretty solid jerseys. This City Connect one, it could have been better. Kudos to them for going old school with a lot of throwback callbacks with these teams, but it just seems like a lot into one. Maybe they the cream color pants to match the jersey, or maybe bring back the red because they got rid of the red alternate jersey. I just feel like there's a lot going on and too much going on. This doesn't look nice. Again, a deep grade. Now, I still believe the 2022 release City Connectors were better of the bunch. The 2023 ones have had some really, really good ones. So the first three I mentioned, out of the park, they nailed it. A lot of them grew on me as the season progressed. Still, the 2022 one is the best of the bunch. The 2021 is still third place, in my opinion. So it goes 2022, 2023, and 2021. And again, if you missed those other grades, you can check them down below. And that is my thoughts and grades a year later on the 2023 City Connectors for the MMB. Let me know down below which ones was your favorite. Did I grade them too harshly? Did I grade them just right? Do you disagree with them or agree with them? Let me know down below. And as per usual, subscribe to Fonz Talks Jerseys. Tell a friend, tell a color prince. Follow the Instagram page at Fonz Talks Jerseys. You can follow my main YouTube channel, uh, Fonz DeFalco, where my podcast is like that kick by where it is placed. I just did an episode with Ian Bosniak and Robin Niggas from the Cup of Mets podcast. We're ready for baseball season. Follow my TikTok, Instagram, everything else down below. My link tree is there at Fonz DeFalco. Go get yourself a fan's idea jersey. Support the brand. That's some more baseball content in the coming weeks got to preview the mlb season with the new uniforms and a bunch of other stuff with other stuff outside of baseball too this channel is going to pop and it's going to keep going remember to check a video out check out some old school ones if you haven't already too a lot of good stuff on this channel if i do say so myself and that wraps up for this video have a good day good night good evening whenever you're watching this said video and i'll catch you all next time peace out